in for somewhat of a treat. Um, I've never actually shown this part of the process and I wasn't going to film this part anyway. So I said this would be the perfect time for us to have a little conversation about home relaxing. Um, my client here flew all the way from Dubai to get her hair done. So I'm like super stoked. Just say yes, nod your head. She don't speak English, show. Just say yes, nod your head. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> She crew, she flew across the world for a relaxer, you guys. <laughs> Just about. Base, no, what, where, what area did you come from? Boston. She came all the way from Boston to get her hair um, corrected. That's number one. Um, she stalked my page, just so y'all know. I I'm just messing with y'all. Don't pay me no mind. I love, I love to be funny. Okay. <laughs> she really stalked my page, though, but it's fine. Correct. Right. Um, so we are going to do what we call a restorative or corrective relaxer. And the reason why I wanted to do this video is not necessarily for you guys to see the process, but for us to all have a learning experience together as to why um, I always recommend getting your chemical services done by a professional. And when I say professional, I mean a professional that specializes in this particular thing, right? Everybody is a professional as long as we have a license. A license makes you a professional. Experience is what really makes you a master at what you're doing. So you can have a license and not know how to do hair. You can have a license and jack up a lot of heads. You can have a license and be an amazing stylist at certain things and be a novice at other things. So that's another reason why I thought this video was vital because I want you guys to understand why I'm so adamant on understanding your hair, understanding when to do things and when not to do things. So in her case, when's the last relaxer? When was the last one? Watch it be like a week ago. Oh, <laughs> a month ago? I just, I did the roots. I want okay. to say last month. So she did her roots last month. And who helped you do this relaxer? This time I did it myself, but before, you know, a certain loved one. Her loved one helped her. <laughs> We're not even gonna go deep. Are we just gonna leave the loved one where he is? Because you know he has an excuse. He's a dude. <laughs> Dudes don't know anything. But she did her relaxer a month ago, and to be quite honest, if I was a stylist looking at her hair for the first time, I would have thought she's never had a relaxer in her life. I would have thought that she was getting a virgin relaxer to the point where I had to ask her, I'm like, you're relaxed, right? Because I'm looking at her hair and I'm like, there is no relaxer in your head. So we are going to correct, correct the situation because she has processed hair and under processed hair. So we're going to even it all out. But in her case, it's almost like we're doing a full on virgin relaxer because we're going to start at the root and work our way out. Um, that is mainly the goal to this. Like most people, when they're doing relaxers at home, a common mistake is that you start on the ends and then you start in the wrong place and then you over process certain areas. So the nape down here is relaxed. In here is not. So when I do my relaxers, I actually start at the most coarse part of the head, which is usually right in here. The reason why I start there is because I know that my relaxer is going to sit in that area for a longer time right number two i know that that area is typically the area that is the most coarse right here in the middle and number three i don't want to run the risk of over processing sensitive parts of the head which is typically the nape and the hairline so that's the reason why there's a method to the madness and only true stylists that actually love what they do like what i do would understand my reasoning and the, the thought process behind this so I'm going to be moving fairly quickly. Um, if it was a true virgin relaxer, I would have um, started from her ends and worked my way to the roots. But because I'm doing a restorative, and I can clearly tell that her roots are under process, even though she had a relaxer a month ago, that's the reason why I'm starting at the root, and then I'm going to work my way out. So you have to be very quick with relaxing. Stylists don't understand that either, y'all. I'm not... It's not always just the client. A lot of times it's the stylist too because stylists want to do this thing where they're doing a relaxer, they talk in, they walk around the salon, you know I'm about to go order some chicken? Give me one second. And they stop your relaxer and they go order the chicken. Mind you, they haven't even finished actually applying the relaxer. It, it, people are notorious for this, you guys, notorious. 
okay? So this is another reason why I said this is a learning experience for yourself and me and my client because going forward, she has to understand her own hair and you have to be able to direct somebody else or know when something's not right if someone else is doing your hair. A lot of you don't even know how to do your own hair. And then that's, you're already at the losing end of the battle because you're entrusting your hair with someone and you don't even know if they know how to do your hair. Mm -hmm. All you know is you don't know how to do hair and you just want somebody to do it for you at any cost. So I'm using a mild relaxer on her. The brand does not matter. You guys know I don't, I don't really talk chemical talk. The only reason why I'm telling you the strength of the relaxer that I'm using is because it's very important when you're doing things like a situation like hers where I'm doing a restorative and I'm trying to correct a problem that was basically created by her and her spouse. <laughs> really by her, for the most part, <laughs> right? But when I'm correcting a situation like this, I don't want to use a full strength relaxer because it's going to go really, really quickly and I need to be able to get through her entire head and I want it to process a little bit slower so that I have time to do that. And I don't want to over-process areas that is already processed. So I'm watching my line of demarcation between um, processed and under-processed or even over-processed hair. That's very important too. And I'm not going to go down into her nape just yet. As you guys see here, um, that's kind of like the last little piece that I do. At the end, And I'm using a spatula at the same time. Wow, you do this like totally unscripted, just from your head. That's amazing. What? You did what? You talk me through it. Oh, that's every day. That's I talk to myself all the time. <laughs> If you know what you're doing, you gotta script anything. This is real life for me, so. Hmm. I have a question, actually. Sure. So you see how the ends, like they're they're lighter and they're thinner because a lot of them are over processed. Mm -hmm. But why is it that they're still like texture and like kinky? Because yes. they're under processed. But if they're if they're that thin, like the actual strands, and they and they turn like that light brown color, doesn't that mean that they're no. So you're kind of mixing up the two. Okay. Just because hair turns a lighter brown color, that means nothing. Mm -hmm. Now, it can mean something. Let me not say it means nothing. It can mean something, but in your case, remember, we're African American. We're ethnic, right? And the one thing that changes our color is what? It's a natural thing. What is the one thing? The sun, okay? So the sun can also change the color of your hair from it just being out. That's just an environmental change. Water can change the color. Chemical imbalance can change the color. So honestly, the color, while it can be over-processed and that can mean something, for our hair, typically if it's like a light brown color like that, that's from just like the elements. It could be from flat ironing too. Mm. But that doesn't mean that you're automatically over-processed. There's some people who, I call it the dirty, dingy brown. That's what I call that color. Mm. That's just our, our natural color. I've yet to see an African-American born with solid black hair. Because my roots are a lot darker, and I guess obviously well, they it, haven't gotten a lot of sun exposure. Correct. You know? There you go. But it, it is lighter than, like, after the few. Because I think the ends have been relaxed probably at least three times in total. I'm going to be honest. Your ends, so it can be somewhat over-processed, but it's not over-processed in the way you think. Mm, okay. Honestly, it could be split. It could be a, a number of reasons why they look the way they look. But that's another reason why with relaxers, it's also very important, again, to get it done professionally because after every relaxer, you should get what? With every relaxer should be what? Straighter? No. With every relaxer, there's a service that you should get. With every relaxer. What is that? Um, uh, I don't know. I always say there's a schedule. Hmm. A trim. A trim, of course. A trim. Course. You know why? Because you need to maintain those ends. Control mm -hmm. them. It's like weeds in your yard. If you don't spray them, guess what happens? They get out of control. Gotcha. And they start taking over areas of your yard that had no weeds and that was nice and healthy. And now that area dies. 
So split ends are like weeds. All right, so we're almost done with the application. Now, when you did your relaxer, did it? Did you go this fast, or you don't even remember? Um, I went pretty fast. Not this fast, though. Definitely not this fast. I think I just, I also was not using enough. And not starting in the right places. And do you mind me asking, what brand of relaxer did you use? I used Oris. Okay, so Oris. Yeah. Okay. And how many boxes did you use? So the first time I used two boxes. And then for all my touch-ups, I just used one. And when you did your touch-ups, did it look like you did a touch-up? Or did you have to flat iron it really good to make it feel like you did a touch-up? I It was the middle section that never came out right. Um, and also the part that, you know, bless him, that my that boyfriend, boyfriend helped with. Doing. Oh, baby. <laughs> um, but that went, really wasn't his fault. So. And I know he felt like he was really doing so good. He was doing that really like he was real, con just in it. Yes, and he spent forever on one section because he was trying to be very thorough. Um, <laughs> so there just wasn't enough time for everything, and it came out <laughs> all different. And to be honest, the first time I relaxed my hair, I was going for um, text lax. But then I was like, actually, I think I just want my hair to be straight. So yeah, text laxing is, there's a yin and a yang to it. Text laxing for someone who's already relaxed won't work. Text laxing is for those who are natural and it's just a texturizer. It's really all it is. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do the first time that I, I relaxed it. But then I was like, I'm going to have to try and match this every time. And I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm not going to be able to do that. So. Nope. And it's not something that you're actually supposed to keep doing. Mm. That's not how it works. Texturizers are done on a case by case basis. It's not a schedule. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a here and there kind of thing. It's not a, like a relaxer where you do it every six weeks because guess what? The same product you're using to do a texturizer is a relaxer. Mm. You're just leaving it for less time and manipulating it less. Right. So, what are we going to do from here on? I'm going to go to a professional. There we go. A hundred percent. I just have to find somebody who, who specializes in relaxers. You don't need to find someone that specializes in relaxers. You need to find someone that specializes in hair care that understands relaxing. Mm. There's no one that specializes in relaxers. There's no such thing. Okay. All right, you guys. So I'm going to take this comb. It's somewhat wide tooth. Okay, so I'm going to give you the same talk I give my kids. We don't do noodle head. You got to just, oh. just keep it firm, okay? Okay. Okay. So the reason why I'm doing this is because I am going to pull through the relaxer over the areas where she's under-processed. But I'm also making sure that I'm detangling at the same time. This comb is not the smallest comb, but it's not the largest either. The reason why I'm not using a very wide tooth comb is because it's not going to distribute the relaxer in the areas where it should, right? And I'm, gonna make, I'm, I'm making sure at the same time that I am not touching her scalp area because we need this to process. And then I'm just going to smooth through my relaxer to her ends. Okay, so I don't have to put more unless I, it's absolutely necessary. In her case, I'm using the residual relaxer that's on my comb and just pulling it through. And then I'm also smoothing the root area at the same time. So her root area is already starting to break down, which is the bulk of the issue, right? Her ends, because her ends are already processed from before, they're going to break down really, really quickly. So that's another reason why I went ahead and put it in at the root first. And then I'm just going through with my comb here. And as you can tell, this hair is under processed. So I'm definitely going to make sure 
that I comb all the way through. So like for an area like this, I'll definitely put some more relaxer because I see that that area is not processed at all. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put relaxer on her nape here, which is a very sensitive area, so it relaxes really quickly. That's another reason why I save it for last. Yes, this is live. Do you have your phone? I do. You want to moderate? Can I bother you once more? Yeah. Can you pass her her suitcase there? That's her suitcase. That's how she travels here. With a backpack. Hey, okay, it works. Thank you very much. Thank you, babe. So if you guys notice, I'm combing through her ends first, just so I'm not putting too much tension. But you do have to be quick with this, you guys. So I know some of you are like, why is she dragging her head like that? I'm not purposely dragging her head, you guys, okay? I'm trying to be quick and thorough at the same time and still not damage any of her hair. You, you lost your phone? No. Oh. <laughs> and then I'm smoothing with my fingers. So you see this area right here? This is like an invisible area. So I'm going to use my fingers to make sure that it's nice and smooth and everything is saturated in regards to the relaxer. You want to make sure you distribute it well. Ooh. You okay? Yeah, it's starting to feel a little heat. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so she said she's starting to feel a little bit of heat, so we're going to move a little bit quicker. And it's primarily in the back section. Mm-hmm. But not in the crown, in the back here. Okay. So this is the amount of hair that we've combed out so far, which is actually very good. All right, so this area here definitely needs a little bit. Oh, if you read the comments for me, as long as it's pertaining to what we're doing. No, go back to where you were. Live chat. Okay. Oh, okay. Right there, okay. There you go. Okay, someone asked where you were. <laughs> I'm in Apopka, Florida. Someone said I can't wait for you to recommend someone in mass. So this area definitely is under process, so we're going to be sure to distribute the relaxer really well. I'll probably add some more here. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put some relaxer on her hairline here. Like I said, I always save the hairline for last. It doesn't take long to straighten out a hairline. And that is the weakest part of the head. Someone asked again how far did I travel? She came from Dubai. <laughs> she came from Boston. <laughs> it's like a two, two hour, 45 minute flight maybe? Or two and a half? Oh, someone said very thick hair. Yes, she does have very thick hair. It almost looks very natural to me. That's so encouraging because it's, it's gotten a lot thinner since I started self-relaxing, so. I'm hoping I can get that back. So when are you going to move to Massachusetts, Crystal? 
Boston is boring. <laughs> Never. Oh my gosh. Never Boston, on this planet will I ever. Say Boston is boring. We were in Boston for New Year's. Never <laughs> will I ever. Wait, were you actually in Boston or were you outside of Boston? We were in, we went to Dorchester. That's what oh, that's, shoot. Wow. We went to, we stayed in Somerville, but we, like, Junie's family is in Dorchester. That's where he's from. Mm. So, nothing in Boston will ever entice me. <laughs> Ouch. Nothing. Okay, what about New York? What about New York? New York is definitely enticing. That's definitely one of my dream locations to live once I become a billionaire. Mm. You gotta have billions to live in New York. Don't go there with no money. <laughs> yes. You don't see everybody from New York is running here, and I'm trying to run there. That's backwards, right? I'm, gonna, I'm trying to run from cheap rent where I can get a four-bedroom and pay the amount that they pay for a one-and-a-quarter bedroom with a possible half a kitchen. And maybe your neighbor got stabbed the other day, but it's cool. <laughs> so you guys see her hairline is already straight. You guys can flip flop. So you're gonna sit. You on fire? A little bit. Get going. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I'll give you a minute and a half. Okay. I could do two minutes. Two minutes is good. What's it's twelve twenty. What do you think is actually the appropriate amount of time? Not you burning. So we're just gonna go. <laughs> I don't know why y'all do that. I don't, I don't understand. Nobody when they do this. I can go. Is it straight? I, can I don't know. I can deal with it. I can deal with yeah, it. Yeah, but third degree burns for relaxers not dealable when it's sticking to your face. Okay, that's true. Right. That's true. So we just going to go with this. I think you're fine, though. You'll be processed. You'll okay. be good. Don't okay. worry. Okay. Don't you worry. Y'all so funny. <laughs> is, it, is it straight, Crystal? And you know your scalp is lit. <laughs> You sit in here, all you can see is knees shaking, feet jerking on the ground. They start moving around like my son in the chair. Like, no, girl, it's just itchy. It's not. Yeah, because you're burning to death. Listen, y'all. <laughs> I always, I always get them. Come, 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 come. All right, what time is it? 1221. Okay. I'm going to put your, take your hat off on please. Someone said it's like waiting for chicken to fry. No, it's not even like waiting. It's, it's, it's worse than that. Relax or burn? It don't matter. I remember when I was younger and they used to spray ISO plus oil sheen on it. Like that would really stop the burn. Yeah, girl, you can wait 10 more minutes. <laughs> they spray you with oil sheen. Uh-uh. So when I self-relax, one of the instructions I, I was given was to base my scalp too, like inside the roots. Yeah, basically, but, but, but it also it also kind of like prevented it from relaxing. It can somewhat hinder the process. Like, yeah, it's not, and I'm not saying that in a non-professional capacity. I'm saying it from a personal aspect. My my, or from a professional capacity. I'm saying it in my personal aspect of relaxing. I don't base my scalp because number one, I feel like the relaxer has to sit a lot longer. It's petroleum, and you're having to get through the petroleum first. Right? And then when we base the scalp, we're coating everything. We're coating, coating, coating. But even basing, you're aggravating the scalp at that very point. Yeah. So that's another reason why I'm not against basing. I don't want anybody to think that as a professional, you shouldn't base your scalp or whatever. But I'll, I have mixed feelings about it. I really do. Woo! Uh -huh. We're going to do it right now. Okay. Come on. No, no, no. no. Set up oh. for me. Okay. Sit up. No, stand up. Oh. All right, let me bring you guys over here real quick. 
Come on back. Slide down. Keep sliding. Head down. Yep, there you go. All right. So I'm going to show you guys how straight she is. Yeah, I'm, I'm not leaving no relaxer on for 40 minutes. Where is it burning up? Um, Everywhere the, or just... In the middle. Right here? Yeah. So I'm going to show you guys how proper application is all that is required for a relaxer to take well. And then at the nape and at my edges. I'm just going to do it all, but okay. I'm trying to get the areas where you're like burning first. Head back. No, you keep your head back. I got you. I'll lift your head. You keep it oh. back. Oh. I'll lift your head. Relax. Relax your body. Thank you. <laughs> so you guys see her hairline is bone straight. Her hair is bone straight. Wherever it is, I don't, I don't Oh, behind you, right on the thing. Just what it says. You're my secretary for today. No, it's good. You can leave it. It's fine. You feeling okay? Mm. You feeling okay? Yeah, just some sore spots. Well, you're sore? Yeah. yeah. Can you guys see that she is nice and straight? Her back. It's a little tender in that area. Mm, probably, probably from the scarf too. Mm. Okay. So whenever you have a burn from a relaxer, we're gonna talk about it. When you have a burn from a relaxer, don't put anything on it. No neosporin. Don't pick at it. Don't do anything. Relaxer burns are self healing. As long as if it, if it was that bad of a burn, your hair would fall off by that point. Okay. So relaxers, the scalp is self healing. It will heal itself within a matter of days. Okay, if it was that bad of a burn, don't scratch it. Don't try to pick at the scabs because it is going to scab up. The scab will come off all by itself within days. And that's if you even get a scab. That means that you were really bad. You can also use antiseptic at the time of the, re the relaxer rinse. And that will help soothe the burn, but it burns putting it on. So I don't really use antiseptic. Better? Ooh, yeah. All okay. right. So you guys can see her hair is nice and straight. Very important. So this relaxer, we condition first. Okay. So we're going to start and she has really dense hair. So you want to make sure that you do put it on. This also soothes the scalp as well, but it conditions first and we only leave it on for a couple minutes, just literally. Ooh, that feels really good. I'm not scratching. Very important, no scratch. Making sure that I, I really coat her hair and her ends. The ends need to be coated as well. Remember, we just did something that's very, um, I'll say intense for the hair. So you wanna make sure that you cover everything with conditioner. And then we're gonna close the cuticle with the normalizing shampoo. And was she processing for a long time? I've only been alive 29 minutes. That's including application and rinsing. All right, let's sit back for two seconds on me. Nope, stay back. Oh, wait. <clears throat> sit up. There you go. So 
Thank you. Oh, I just saw my hairline. Wow. You just saw your hair. I did. All right, let me see your comments real quick. Sad because she told her it burned. She like five minutes more. Bad lesson learned. Feared to relax. What? Why don't black women rock natural hair? Why get relaxed? I'm cool as long as it's on. Just wondering. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a choice. I was it's natural choice. for 10 years. You were natural for 10 years? Yeah. And could you manage it or you were just kind of over it? Um, I just felt like it was too much protective styling. So okay. I didn't get to enjoy my hair. So there you go. I was getting a lot of length and thickness, but it was so much protecting to maintain it that I didn't see the point if I was going to have my hair up. I do love natural hair, but I think that I enjoy my hair more when it's relaxed. There you go. So to address, um, due to such went natural, one year started, two months to relax again. <laughs> but we'll recommend Crystal's product helped for one year. That's how I found her on YouTube. Thank you, Marissa. So... Relaxer is a hit or miss, okay? So here's the problem with relaxer. There's no way for you to estimate or guesstimate if the client is going to burn. It could be this one relaxer is the one that burns. It could be you decided to wear a scarf. You didn't even scratch your hair. All you did was put a scarf on or you put a cap on and all you did was take the cap off and now the first place to start burning is the line where the brim of the cap was and you only had it on to get here, right? That's that's the easy way for it to happen. Now, the good thing with, well, I'll say the bad thing about relaxer is if you under relax or you rinse it too quickly and the hair is not processed, then you run the risk of that same cycle that we just now tried to correct under processing the hair because you didn't get enough time to process so that the hair itself can get nice and straight. But straight for us, is a little bit different from what a true relaxer straight is. Relaxer straight is a S pattern, right? You should have an S pattern in the hair. The hair should not be bone straight, okay? Bone straight means that you're right at the tipping point of that hair basically being nothing, right? So I'm not using my nails. I'm just using the beds of my fingers. Oh, my gosh. Hold on, you guys. This is Crystal. Hey. Yes? What happened? Okay, I'll send it. No problem, baby. Okay. Love you. Hi. I swear I think my daughter leaves her lunch at home on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, can you, can you send lunch for me? I, I think I left my lunchbox on the couch. <laughs> the other day... Mom, I think I left my lunchbox in the trunk. <laughs> I think they enjoy the Uber Eats. They think they're slick. They think they're real slick. All right, so we're going to rinse her off. Now, I am using warm water to rinse her. That's very important. Warm water is really the only temperature water you should be using with a relaxer. I mean, if it's burnt that bad, some people will run to use cold water, but you can't really rinse out the relaxer thoroughly with cold water. Mm. You'll still have to go back and use that warm water. Now, if she was severely burnt, even the neutralizer or normalizer would have burned the life out of her. So I don't think she's burnt like that. I think she's just tender. This, was this your shampoo that you just not put on? Mm-hmm. Because that one was a little bit of a shock at first, but after like... I don't know, 10 seconds, it was fine. So they want to know how does your scalp feel? Do you feel torched? Do you feel like your hair is just like on fire? There's, there's tender spots, but I'm fine. 
There you go. I'm definitely fine at the moment. And is the tender spots in the nape? It's actually like by the side here. Okay. Not in so the here, like on yeah. the other side, but mm -hmm. right here. All right. So she's in a good spot. She'll be fine. A little bit at the front right here, but it's mostly just this one area right back here. Is that where it was burning from the beginning? Yeah. But you know what? I think that's also because in the past I've scratched that area. I mean, you can self, so. you can subconsciously scratch it and don't even know that you scratch. That's true. All right, so I'm using my normalizer. I'm adding a little bit of moist repair. The moist repair is gonna help add a little bit of moisture to the hair, but it's also gonna change the smell of the hair because relaxer has this odd smell. And I hate the smell of it. So I like to add a little bit of moist repair just to kind of change the scent of the hair. It is not going to hinder the normalizing process. I always do two, sometimes three normalizers. Is a normalizer different from a neutralizer or is it just the same thing, different name? It's the same thing, different name. Every company has a different concept to it. Gotcha. But this is called a normalizing shampoo, mm. meaning it's restoring the pH of the hair. Mm. Okay. Somebody said Crystal's like all state, you're in good hands. It's so funny. <laughs> all right, so I'm just making sure that she does have every part of her head because she does have a lot of density in certain areas. And the nape right here is typically where um, you, we run that risk of not normalizing or neutralizing enough. So on my second neutralizer or normalizer, I usually let it sit on for a second or two. That's why I made sure that it was all over the hair. At this point, I just rinse off my hands or something and then rinse her hair off. Now, do you have a regular touch-up touch schedule that you recommend? Six to 12 weeks. They just Everybody's going to be different in regards to the time frame. Some mm -hmm. people have to relax at six weeks because their hair is super coarse and thick. Mm. some people will make it to eight some people will make it to ten some people stretch it to 12 i'm not gonna say make it to 12 they stretch it to 12 mm, gotcha. but at 12 weeks you kind of run that risk of not of under relaxing or under processing the hair because that's a lot of hair to get through in a relaxer mm. i'm gonna be making this trek every so often So yeah, I don't feel any burning right now at all. You shouldn't by this point. Yeah. By the second one, no. Mm -mm. Okay. Now, if it was super bad, like really bad, some people you can't even shampoo them. You can't even rinse them. Mm. Which I've never really had a situation of that nature unless my client sits there and silently is like, I'm not telling her because I want it to be bone straight. <laughs> and then they ask me when it when it's burning their <laughs> in the shampoo bowl, they're like, is it straight though? <laughs> and all you hear... Is it straight? <laughs> That's all they care about. How long does your relaxers usually last? Like six to eight weeks? Six to eight weeks. See? So she goes eight. All right. So after a relaxer, because this system, this system conditions first, sometimes it will leave the hair feeling um, not as soft as I like it. So I'll always go back through with the Moist Me 24 karat mask just to soften the hair so it's an instant conditioner just to rehydrate the hair soften it up so i can detangle which detangling is the least part of the job but i like to add that extra conditioner and then i'll use a wide tooth comb and just comb through the hair and then rinse her out with cool water and that's the last rinse Come on back for me.
Water's gonna be cool, okay? That feels good. <laughs> So all I'm doing is just rinsing out her conditioner. We use the Moist Me as a 20, as a 24, as a um, <laughs> softening conditioner or instant conditioner, even though it's a mask, but I like the way it coats the hair, especially after a relaxer. So you guys basically got to see the process, like the raw process of relaxing. And what happens when you under-process, what happens with, when you over-process, what happens at the shampoo bowl, what happens when you burn, everything. You guys got to see it all. Like, Silas don't want to tell you the gruesome part of it. Do I accept male clients? Nope. Do I want to? Nope. <laughs> I don't think Junie would enjoy that either. <laughs> Like, I always had older guys to do their dreads, but I don't even do dreads anymore. I do his, but no one else. Mm. All right, so we're just making sure that her hair is rinsed thoroughly, especially because she has a good density of hair. So Jason Q, I'll see it in just a second. All right, so we're going to go ahead, squeeze out the excess water. So you guys can see the finished product. Sit up for me. Also, in case anybody's wondering, Crystal's <clears throat> skin looks even better in person. That's so funny. So <laughs> don't be petty like it that. It actually looks like that in person, just so you guys know. Um, I can't see Jason Q's question, so either way. All right, so we're gonna towel dry her. And thank you for the compliment, by the way. Of course. All right, I'm gonna take the cake part off. Okay, so now she is fully processed. So I'm gonna spray her with a little bit of Hydra Strength Leave-In Spray. So this is what it's going to be looking like when it's wet? Yeah. It's what it should look like when it's Because I was wet. getting an afro every time. Because it was under process. Afro, but I was like, after all that relaxer. Four mm -hmm. relaxers. Four relaxers. Oh, it's not helping, so we're going to use the puzzle brush. There we go. So basically, I'm just combing her hair down so that she can go under the dryer. So if your hair still looks like an afro after a relaxer, <laughs> that means that it's not relaxed. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that. All right, so she's going to go under the dryer. I'm going to put a little bit of Elite Silk Wrap Foam right here in her hairline. Just kind of smooth her out. Just curious because I never saw a male client on this channel. No, Jason, I don't I don't have male clients. All right, let's go over to the dryer. Let me read your questions real quick so I can start my clients for that. Mm, yeah. You said you don't accept male clients. Can you explain why some hairstylists don't? Um, I don't know about other hairstylists. Me personally, it's just my personal preference. Um I don't I don't want to do male clients. I mean, period. <laughs> I don't know what else you want me to say. 
It's just my personal preference. Some stylists will turn down nothing but their collar. I turn down whatever I feel like turning down. And we're, we're in a different time. I'm in a little room. I don't want no dudes in. Just don't. Like, most dudes come with an ulterior motive. And I'm not saying everybody, but I don't trust people. And how much am I going to do? Like, I had one male client where he was, he was, um, he was gay. That was it. I mean, he had a shortcut. I haven't seen him in years. But I like women. I like to do, no, let me say that in a private. Let me back up and say this the right way. I like to do women's hair. I don't like women. Okay. Let's make sure we are. You say, let me make sure I clarify what I just said. I like to do women's hair. <laughs> Hi, yay, <yeah, yeah. laughs> All right. My client here. Um, what I do do, what I do do, what I do though is I like to base around my client's hairline. That part I do base because those parts are really sensitive. You want to keep it on? You want to take it off? Okay. It's optional here now. Okay. Oh, I don't want nobody to sue me like they sued the government. I need to get a quick book. <clears throat> I said anyone will sue to try to get a quick Listen, book. Listen, if we tried to sue, we would have lost. The fact that they sued and won in, in a matter of weeks, I've never seen anything like it. All right. So she gets her hair relaxed every eight weeks. You guys are just seeing the whole process today. Her relaxer, we definitely only do the new grow. If you guys can tell her hair is nice and straight. Okay, she has a good density. We also, when she first came, we did an uh, entire haircut on her. So her hair is doing really well. She has a bob, by the way, that has grown out. I, didn't we cut it the last time, too? Yeah, it's we growing out quickly. It is. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. I'm actually still going to use the same mild on her. And I'm only going to do her new growth. So you'll notice my application changes from client to client. Can you do me a favor? If I hand you my phone? Mm -hmm. Go to Uber Eats for me. I forgot to order my child food. So now she's going to starve. Now she's going to stop. Hey, that's her business. Everybody told her to leave her lunchbox either. I haven't eaten at all. You said Uber Eats. It's just keep going. Keep, no, the other way. Keep going. One more. Keep going. Right here. Am I going blind? Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay, so the address at the top, you're going to change it. You'll see one that says um, Orangewood on it. Upper school. Or safe places. Go to safe places. Safe places? Yeah, right there. No? Okay, so just type in at the top Orangewood. Presbyterian. No, Orange was Christian Upper School. No, you got it. It's right second. Okay. Yep. Okay, and then hit save at the bottom. And then those those two little buttons, those two little um, bars up at the top in the corner. Mm -hmm. This one. Yep. And you're gonna click for delivery time, whichever one, whatever she gets, get it fast. And then apply.
Starbucks. Wendy's. I mean Subway, Subway, sorry, Subway. And then you should see um order the order again the six inch sandwich thing. The two and a half? Yeah. Yep, keep going. Just the way it is. Um I the no cheese, yeah, keep going. Um banana peppers. I have banana peppers, everything yep. else too? Okay. And then that's it. And then the Gatorade. Check it out. Yep. No, thank you. What is it? It says try leave at door delivery. No, thanks. Mm, edit two dollars. What is it? You seem far away from this. That's fine. That's fine. It's it's mine. It's gonna tell us when it's done. Hit close, and then scroll down. Yeah, right there. That's seven zero seven three one again. That, yeah, clip that one and change it to 2058. That one. Yeah, and then you can do it again. Just thank you. Sorry, guys. I had to order lunch for my kid. She'll call me after school. Um, mommy, is is it coming still or? All right. So in the crown area, I also still start right in the crown because that's the area that typically is the most dense now in school I can tell you guys right now in cosmetology school putting relaxer on the back of your hand is a definite no no so do as I say, not as I do. I'll read your comments in a little bit, you guys. I can't even see them right now. Camille hydrating gel, um, our dark spot corrector soap, which is the orange soap, and water. <laughs> and that's really it. And I'm not even consistently doing it. So it's just when I feel like I'm one of those inconsistent people when it comes on like skincare. The only time I really care about my skin is when something's wrong. I don't know if you covered this already, but someone asked, um, why aren't you basing the client throughout the scalp? Because my personal thought process on base is different from other stylists. I personally feel like the base hinders the process, especially petroleum base, which is exactly what you guys saw me put around the hairline. I feel like it just hinders the process. Base is not 100% required, like you're doing it wrong if you don't base the scalp. No. And a lot of relaxer systems, if you notice, even those box relaxers you guys buy in the store, 
If you notice, they don't come with base anymore. So it's more like a personal preference. But good question. Any others? That's it so far. All right, so we're almost done with that application. Are you burning or are you okay? I'm good. So she's good. But she always does well with her lessons anyway, so I don't, I don't even recall you ever burning on your lessons. So if you guys notice how her relaxer is being applied, new growth only. All right, so now I'm going to apply it to her hairline. Somebody said thank you something. I didn't see what it said. I've been doing relaxers a long time. I feel like I can do a relaxer in my sleep. All right, so what we're gonna do now is go through and just pull it through the root area, which that's really quick for me. And the comb is not actually touching the scalp. Okay, so keep that in mind too. I usually just, I regularly just use the comb to just kind of pull through the naps, if any. I'm not smoothing with the comb. I'm just using the comb to move the hair around. I'm actually smoothing with my fingers. So all you guys see me doing is using the comb to kind of pull through the hair, but I don't smooth with the comb. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then this, I'm still using a mild relaxer, so this is going to break down a little bit slower. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so we did not do a relaxer on her today, which she's definitely getting a relaxer next time. We're not even skipping. <laughs> So she needs a relaxer, but guess what? We're going to make this work. We're going to fix her up. Mm, we'll do it. When's your next one? May 5th. Okay, yeah, you're fine. We'll do it then. Because we're trying to get this top to grow out anyway, so that's another reason why we're fine. All right, so we're going to clean up her nape. Busy, busy, yes, always. No, baby, I don't do feet. <laughs> mm -mm. You guys know I skipped the entire week of school when they get feet. Because as a cosmetologist, we have to. And I literally skipped the entire week. I'm not touching nobody's feet. So no, I don't have any foot care products. How you feel, babe? I'm okay. You good? Huh? A little itchy, but I'm okay. Itchy, itchy's alright. Itchy's alright. You know it always itches right at relaxer time. You said so straight. <laughs> you have any questions? I can't see any. I only tolerate my mom's feet. Girl, you. Junie and my mother are and my kids are the only ones that give me touch their feet, honey. No, no. I mean, you're doing really good because you have a huge patch over here and that patch is gone. So we're in a good place. And this patch that's here, that's growing out. So even though she needed a relaxer, y'all see that nice fade wow. there? Uh -huh. Fade me, please. Fade me. Wow, the protein? Good. What, your hair? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's dense. I mean, it's relaxed. So. All right, so we're going to go ahead and spray on a little bit of goddess polish. Right, 
Pero... You see any comments? So I need you to close your chat and hit that like button. Bonita asked, would you please consider having skin care for feet? <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. She said that, that I would have to demonstrate on feet. <laughs> That's just not going to happen. <laughs> no. You could do your own feet. That part. That's probably the most, but I haven't gotten to foot care yet. So y'all just bear with me. Skin care is my tackle right now. Repair and restore line. What line should I use for my opposite day? Moist repair. Bonita is, is still K 
campaigning for those those good <laughs> candy products. She well, said, he, keep campaigning, honey. <laughs> Mario to ask if this rhyme will be So I'm going to use a little bit of Moist Me 24 Karat Mask to rehydrate her hair, soften it up. Water's gonna be cool, okay? I go ahead and finish out the relaxer process so all of my normalizing would be done and then before I do that final conditioner which is what I just did a minute ago um, I would then put the color on and she process with the color and then after the color process is complete I'll give her one very mild very very mild shampoo and then finish it off with the conditioner Alright, so I'm going to spray a little bit of Hydra Strength. Boom, boom, boom. Lucy asks, since you applied the relaxer to the crown and back first, why did you not start rinsing it out of the crown and back of the client's head first? Because I'm already at the top of the head. And it's not going to really make a huge difference if I rinse it from the back or the front because everything's being rinsed anyway. So the extra 30 to 30 to 45 seconds of me doing that is not making a difference. It's just kind of a creature of habit. I'm already in the crown. That's the first place you see. And typically the crown is the, the easier place. Right at the hairline up here is where it breaks first. But that's even besides the point. It's just kind of a creature of habit. I'm already up there. So rinse everything. And the first place that I actually put the relaxer is right here. If you paid attention to it, I put it here first. So when I'm doing this, if you notice, I went right here next because that's where I put it first, not the nape. The nape was actually last. To 
All right, people, let's finish up my day. So everybody's under the dryer drying. I'm gonna curl her up and then curl my next client here from Boston so she can go back to Dubai. And then curl up my last client under the dryer there so she can go home and we are done for the day. All right, so I'm going to spray a little bit of goddess polish again. Thank you, girl. She said it smells so good. All right, so I'm going to use, for those of you that ordered this iron yesterday, you are in good place, okay? So this is the three-tenths of an inch pencil iron. Actually, I got oil on here. Let me clean that off. Three-tenths of an inch pencil iron. Um, this is a ceramic iron. It's available at EliteHairCareUSA.com, which you guys know I've been using this iron for forever. So I'm going to curl her using this iron because she has a pixie cut. Some places, because she has breakage in different parts, are going to be bumped. Other places will be curled, but it's all going to happen. The good thing about it is it smooths out her hair. Y'all see the difference? Smooth. Need a relaxer? Smooth. Need a relaxer. <laughs> huh? I am my sister's keeper asked, what type of edge control can I use to cover my gray hair and to strengthen my edges? I have tried several edge controls that cover my edges, but it doesn't grow my edges. So, no edge control is going to cover your edges. In regards, in regards to the gray, it might give you a little temporary coverage, but it's not going to make a huge difference long term. So you're looking for two different things. What I would suggest is you can use the edge control, but then use the mask it fibers on your hairline just to kind of give it that tint and the tint will last longer than it will on the edge control. So we have our charcoal edge tamer where it gives you a mild tint, but it's not going to last long. So when we did her cut the first time, you guys, we couldn't curl half of her hair. Like half of this hair could not be curled. So we've come a long way in a short time. You feel the difference in your hair? Yes. That's hard to say I found out. asks, why don't you use Japanese straightening perms? They can be used on bleached hair too. I don't want to do no Japanese straightener. I don't want to do anything that resembles keratin, Brazilian blowouts, keratin complex, Japanese straighteners, silk amino acid straighteners. I don't do any straighteners because the long-term effect is exactly what you get. They're all the same. Took down for me. And Japanese straighteners, have you ever really dealt with Japanese hair? A person from Japan? They have coarser hair. Their hair is the most resistant, actually. Their hair is actually more coarse than the gray-haired person. So that's why Japanese straighteners work. But I just had a client the other day that had a Japanese straightener, a young girl, she's a student, and she got a Japanese straightener and her hair is jacked up. She literally has hair falling off in so many places. So the, the selling point of those sounds good, but the long-term effect is not good. And you don't see the problem until months later. It doesn't happen the next day. And I've seen the effect of all of them and I don't want none of them. <laughs> all right so you guys can see her hair is bumped let me pull y'all close let me pull you in okay so even though she needs that relaxer that hair is still nice and smooth h2 pro okay okay so this is called the three tenths of an inch pencil iron this is available on elitehaircareusa.com it's also called the h2 pro three tenths of an inch micro that is the brand this is a professional grade flat iron that i have used for a long time
I use this on edges. I use this on shortcuts. I use this on anybody. All right, my love. So I'm going to have you tilt your head forward for me. Mm -hmm. Here, actually, I'll bring you guys up. So you can see up close on personal. It's going to be all in your face. All in your business, honey. All in your business. All right. So I'm going to tilt you guys down so you can see what I see. Somewhat. Yeah. All right. There we go. So she has a little breakage right here. It's fine. Ain't nothing we can do about it. It's growing out. It was baby bald almost the other day, so yeah. we are coming. I think by the time her relaxer comes, it'll be nice and shaded. Are there a ton of questions on that thing? I saw somebody with like a paragraph. Um, no, not questions. People are talking about uh, the edge control. Oh, okay. There's a question from Sandy. I don't really understand what she's asking. She said, how soon do you check your emails, contact, or phone messages when an item's missing from your order and completed? I don't check any. That's customer service. So typically 24 to 48 hours. But if it was something that had to do with yesterday's sale, trust me, there's a billion of them in there. So the turnaround time is typically 24 to 48 hours for customer service to get back with you. But just kind of be patient because only yesterday was crazy. We had a ton. I don't even want to say the number of orders. Just a ton. How soon do you restock? Uh, we're working on restock now, but our goal right now is to get everybody's order shipped out. So I'm, she has coarse textured hair. Her hair is actually coarse. friends you ain't even from here that's all i'm looking like once you brought somebody with you from boston <laughs> all right so we're done curling so we're gonna do two things actually i'm gonna put a little bit of frizz tamer and shine serum in my hand okay So all I'm doing is really rubbing it in. This is a silicone base, so it's gonna coat the hair, kind of serve as a protectant from the UV rays and all that good stuff. Where's my brush? Oh. Yomana asks, how do you know when to put firm on all of the hair, not just new growth? It's based on a person by person, like you're really just kind of looking at the hair um, I try not to relax the crown area for weeks at a time. Like that's one of the last places that I relax because that's the area that's typically the weakest. And I always want more density in the crown area. The sides and the back gets relaxed a lot more than anywhere else. Because it grows out a lot faster too. Can you take your mask off for me? Sorry. Um, no, you okay. All right, so we're gonna clean up her hair. Go ahead. Well, Sahara said, "What's the difference between the most recent training you had with the pixie relaxer, the platinum blonde color, and the Japanese dream?" Huh? Read the question again. What's the difference between the most recent training you had with the pixie relaxer with platinum blonde color and the Japanese dream? 
So the most tre most recent training that I had wasn't the pixie um, relaxer. So I haven't done a relaxer with a pixie on anyone. So I'm gonna assume you're talking about the perfect platinum pixie. Perfect platinum pixie is not a relaxer. It has no relaxer in it whatsoever, actually, none. So if that's the one you're talking about, that one was an actual relaxer. <coughs> um, yeah, I've done no one with a platinum and a relaxer ever on any of my videos that I can recall. The Japanese straightener, that's exactly that. It's a, it's a straightening system. So a relaxer and a Japanese straightener are two different things. Japanese straightener is kind of a, a marketing thing that they put out basically saying that you can be straight without a relaxer. But they use things like aldehyde rather than formaldehyde. And they're all aldas. They're all hides. They're all the same family. So they're just manipulating chemicals and proteins to make the hair straight. But to be quite honest, if you want to be straight, get a relaxer. Call it a day. Because at the end of the day, either your hair is going to shed from it being straight and they're burning in product into the hair or it's going to be straight from a relaxer and they're both still permanent straighteners. They never revert back. So there is a difference, but that one wasn't a relaxer. It's a different process for that platinum pixie that you're talking about. All right, I'm gonna use just a little bit of edge control, the charcoal color. Any other questions? Um, this chick asked, do we have to be currently working in a salon to pay slash attend the elite affiliate training and license? No, you just have to have had your license for at least two years. But if you're licensed and you want to be an affiliate, you still need to have a location that you're servicing clients, preferably not your home. Because we do ask your business location to make sure that it's an actual business location. So I'm not trying to discrim discriminate, but I don't want to send clients to your home, if you if you know what I mean. I feel like it's just I, I don't want to say it's not professional because that's not the right word, but I, I just don't want to do that part. I'm just, just leave it right where it's at. All right, so I'm gonna spray just a very small amount of holding spray, very small. Light hold. And she is all done. Woo. You're planning to pay for a salon suite. Okay, so that chick can cook. If you're going to go to a salon suite, perfectly fine. I'm in a salon suite. So ain't no hateration here. I'm in a, a 13 by two and a half second room. Just like you're going to be. So, yes, you can. If you're going to go into a salon suite, absolutely. What city and state are you in, if you don't mind me asking? All right, my love. You're all done. Come on, baby. Oh, what city and state is she in? I don't know what she said. She didn't say that. Oh, she's in St. Augustine. St. Augustine, Florida? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can do it. We need more Florida. Trust me, I need North Florida, so that's where you are. And South Florida, definitely. So that's the moment. Thank you. It is so amazing. Everybody's saying so too. Everyone thinks it's so Thank good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, she came from Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we don't. I'll just mess it around. See, the fact that you associate Boston with Dubai means. Yeah, you we need love to, you some Boston. No, so you need to come on over. Boston okay. does not remind me of Dubai, actually. <laughs> I everything you were saying, her skin. I'm saying, I'm saying Thank I'm you. Like that. That's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, asked if hair sheds from the root, how does a protein treatment help with shedding? If hair sheds from the root, how does a protein treatment help with shedding? So two things. 
When the hair is shedding from the root itself, typically that's the growth cycle. That's a little bit different. If you can tell that your hair is shedding from the root, then you need to find out the culprit first. The protein is going to help strengthen the hair that's already out, right? So it's not hair that's shedding from inside out. It's the hair that's shedding in between these hairs, breaking, that kind of thing. Shedding from the root could be either a part of the growth cycle, or it could be something that has to do with your medical part of your life on the inside. So that's a little bit different. They're two totally different things. Mm -hmm. If you want, yeah. That's what I was asking you for, for a receipt? Mm hmm Okay. All right, so we're going to blow her out. Okay? So mm -hmm. when I'm getting a relaxer, I shouldn't be looking to get any straighter than this. I mean, you can. It, it will get straighter than this over time. Mm, okay. But does it need to be straighter than this? No, because you're looking at it from a wet, and I just air dried it, so it's going to always look like this. Mm, okay. And then when you straighten it out with just blow drying it, it should go straight. You shouldn't still have a fro, and you're like fighting with it to straighten it out. Mm. Does that make sense? Absolutely. So watch. Thank you so much for coming. You're welcome, babe. So I'll see you in May. See how I'm not struggling to make it go straight? I'm just blowing through it. And that's not even dry. That's just a blow through. Put down the paper. Right there. around the hairline. Tina said, I relaxed my hair only twice in a year. Is that a good thing or no? No. Because you're stretching it for too long. If you're relaxing it twice a year, then I'd say just go natural and call it a day. It sounds like you're just kind of like texturizing it. Sassy Girl said, I'm natural and paper. What can I use for as a daily moisturizer? Natural and paper. Um, you can use the Hydra Strength Leave-In Conditioner. But you want to, I mean, when you're short like that, you can wash your hair every day or every other day. So that should be good. And then your curl products will work fine, too. I'd also add a little bit of frizz tamer before you put your curl products on. Only because that's going to help coat the hair and keep it from drying out. We're working on a curl line, too. We're working on bringing that back.
for both. It's the same, same company for both. Okay. Okay, thank you. Um, no, what's the, what's another way that I could do it? Um, their online portal, yeah. Well, 21, you mean? Okay, I can send both. Can you send me an email? Yeah. Awesome, thank you. You too. Bye bye. All right. The life of a business person. Is it dry? Mm. Uh, yeah, it's dry. It's dry. Okay. All right. So what I'm doing is just going through. And giving her a once silk over because I'm going to also be cleaning up her hair. Um, and I want it to be literally like bone straight, but I'm also you okay? Yeah. I'm also making sure that I can see all her breakage, everything in between. So what should I do from here on out to manage my breakage? Um, I mean, on your wash days every two weeks, so like your next appointment, well, not next appointment, but your next service for yourself, because you'll be in Boston, mm -hmm. is going to be a protein treatment, and that's two or three weeks from now. And then every two weeks, you can alternate your treatment, shampoo and conditioner, so like moisture and then strength, and then moisture and then strength, because you have coarser texture, mm -hmm. not coarse, but slightly coarser. So I definitely focus on both, because you need both moisture and strength. And your hair's been through a lot between what you've done and what we did today. So you definitely want to start rehydrating, but strengthening at the same time. Yeah. So the iron that I'm using, this is the H2 Pro 1-inch Micro Ceramic. And I'm doing it in large sections. So you guys can see the difference. Could use the titanium as well and silk her out, but the ceramic is doing it this time. Classic girl asks, can the hair gel that's shown on your website be used for defining natural curls? Yes, it's a curl gel. It's a curl defining gel. Bonita said, yet again, I'm old school, class 1977. Do I need to get your daddy to consider feet skincare? Bonita <laughs> don't stop. <laughs> stop working on other 
and trust your worth to me as a consumer. I have to reorder soon. Can you tell I'm type A? She's trying real hard, is she? <laughs> Kim said, I have a lot of hair that's natural and followed your deep conditioning routine from your video, but lost the video. What is the process again or the name of the video? Uh, hold on. What you said now, say that again. Um, I have a lot of hair that's natural and followed your deep conditioning routine from your video, but lost the video. What is the process again or the name of the video? Oh gosh, <laughs> I have so many. I honestly, you have to kind of be a little more specific. I have a thousand videos on here and I'm still old. I actually am over a thousand videos. So you gotta help me so I can help you, babe. Be a little more specific for me, please. Like the process of deep conditioning is almost the same, but I would love to point you in the right direction because I, I, there's a lot of videos, a lot. So if you got a flat iron yesterday during our sale, because we had an anniversary iron, which is the titanium iron. And then we had the micro irons on there, which is the one you guys see me using. And then we, today we just added on the one and three fourths of an inch iron. So that's on the site now. I'm curious to know who got what. We sold out three times yesterday on those irons. I didn't expect to do that. I expected to sell like 50 irons and be done with it. Tina asked, can you come to Ohio? <laughs> <laughs> You want me to answer that question? <laughs> I'm not going to do it like that. No, Ohio is like Boston to me. I'm not going to. Oh my gosh. You're going to come to Boston. No. It's meant to be. No. It's meant to be. No, it's not. It's basically Dubai. The only thing that I go to Boston for is the roti, and that's it. Oh my I don't even like the Boston lobster roll and all that. That was the nastiest thing. <laughs> I paid $40 for a roll that was like four inches wide. <laughs> Where did you go? Uber Eats. But still, it was, I don't even know the company name. Like, ew. See, you gotta go to the right places. Boston is not enticing. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, it's smog and dark. What? And people are not polite here. That's true. That's very true. Boston, if I had to compare Boston and another city, I would compare it to like North Dakota or something because it's not even a place I've been to. <coughs> it's his own little world. North Dakota. Do we have anyone from North Dakota on here? Deneen said she got the one inch nano titanium. Yes, girl. Please be careful with the titanium irons, you guys. Very important. I only offered the titanium because I know that a lot of you like to silk your own hair out. But I don't want you guys to get over, um, over enthused by the titanium. You do need to have ceramic for your regular use. Titanium is more when you're silking. But I'm using ceramic on her hair. Okay? This is ceramic. And my ceramic, and that's at 415. I just put it up to 450 just now. CJ got the H2 Pro one inch ceramic flat iron. Yes, CJ. You got the grandma and grandpa of flat irons. That's the Cadillac. That's this one. You got the Cadillac of the of the flat irons. So good job. Good, good, good. What is your opinion on um, steam irons? I don't like them. Why not? Um, I feel like they are, it, it's like, it's doing exactly that. That's like when you're ironing your clothes, okay? If you're ironing your clothes and your clothes have a lot of wrinkles in it, then you'll add a little bit of water to it so it will steam the clothes, right? Mm -hmm. But do you have to use the steam every single time you iron something? Mm -hmm. Do you? 
No. No. So do you have to have steam in the hair every single time you flat iron it? No. Because what you're doing is, number one, you can break the bond in the hair. And I know they say, oh, it's adding moisture into the hair. Well, it's also manipulating the hair, too, and it can easily break the bond in the hair. It can easily help to burn that hair out, even though it's a steam flat iron. I'm just, I'm not a fan of them. I'm not. I've seen them for years. I've tried them, and I'm not enthused. I like dry heat. I'll be seeing paragraphs on here. <laughs> Marilyn asked, what company semi-permanent color do you recommend? Um, if it's for gray, I mean, all the semi-permanent colors come from, um, all the ones that I use is from Clairol. It just kind of depends on what you're doing. Like, if I'm doing, like, fashion colors, then I'm using Kiss. If I'm doing dark browns and blacks, then I'm also using Clairol, but there's different lines of Clairol, too. But I have a video on my channel that talks about um, hair color and the co colors that I recommend. So you can go watch that video too. Diana asked, when will there be another $50 bundle kit sale? That was no. so very exciting. Um, Maybe for my birthday sale. I only do three major sales a year. Now four. I do four now. So New Year's, anniversary, my birthday, and Black Friday. So we always try to do something creative. So like New Year's, the bundle was $22, but it, it had two products in it. And then yesterday, we did the $50 anniversary bundle. So it's just, I'm, I'm a sporadic person too, so I'm spontaneous on things. Margie Morales said she got the Cadillac as well. Yes, come through with the Cadillac. The micro irons, these irons are Cadillacs, okay? These are the Cadillacs. The Vivace, which is the red iron, that's the red one, the one and three-fourths, that's also a Cadillac iron. The Vivace iron, this one that you guys see here, this is a Cadillac too. This is a Cadillac as well. So Vivace and Micro, those are my Cadillac irons. The titanium iron, if I had to put it in a class, I wouldn't say a Cadillac. I would put it more like... I mean, you can put it in a Cadillac. I was going to say more like a Lexus. Like, I'll just say one notch below the Cadillac. So let me not say Cadillac. I'll say like the Ferrari. And then the one-inch titanium, which is the anniversary iron, that one would be more like the Cadillac to me. But all of them are professional grade. So I'm not, I'm not doing those $9.99 over the counter. Nope. All of the irons have warranty. All of the irons, if they break, they can be replaced or fixed directly through H2 Pro. So that was another thing that I wanted to make sure you guys are getting professional grade, high quality irons. And if I'm using it, then you can use it. If I'm not using it, then I don't recommend it. And I have two drawers full of irons. If I show you those two drawers, you'll be so surprised. Robin asked, what can I do about alopecia? The doctor said I have hard scalp alopecia. Mm, I'm not really sure. What is hard scalp alopecia? I don't even know anything about that one. And I'm not afraid to say I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know about that one. It has to be a, another scientific name for it because I've never heard of that one. All right, so we're going to trim her up. Do you guys see how nice and silky her hair is? Now you can see when I say she has slightly coarse textured hair. Like I can feel every strand in between my fingers. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna use a cutting cape only because her, her cape is uneven with her sweater. So you guys can see what I see. There you go. So you can see her hair here. She really just needs a cleanup, which is great. So I'm going to go ahead and start from up here. This is definitely just a trim, so 
she's in a good spot the areas that might have some breakage they'll just have to grow out Are there specific styles that you recommend to prevent breakage? Um, manipulation or anything like that? Honestly, every style can cause breakage. I would honestly just say use discretion and moderation. Everything should be done in moderation. There's no right or wrong style. Now, if your stylist is putting lace front glue on your hairline, then don't wonder why you're bald on your hairline. But other than that, like braids and all that, that kind of stuff comes with the territory. So just do it in moderation. Listen to your hair and know when to scale back. Know when to switch it up. Thank but there's never going to be a go-to. I'm sorry. Mm, gotcha. Thank you, Shay OK. I appreciate it. What did Shay OK say? She said I have beautiful hair. Thanks, Shay OK. Thank you. Thanks, Crystal. <laughs> Thank you, Crystal, helping me out so much. I'm going to tell you another thing. I was also trimming my hair. Though. Oh, I can tell because your front is super long <laughs> and the back is super short. So I can tell. I can tell that you were doing it yourself. How did I know? Because when I get to the front, the front is so long. And I'm going to tell you how you know, guys. When people self-trim, all you see is the front. So you try to skim how much you take off the front. And you're not knowing that you're taking way more off the back of your head. Because you're not caring about the back of your head. You care about the front. Mm. Wow. So you're going to skim that trim in the front. And even though you're not even giving yourself a real trim. I didn't even have to tell you that. I outed nope. myself for no reason. You did. I had already known. I could tell by <laughs> as I'm going around, the front is an inch longer than the back. <laughs> so we're, we're kind of evening it out. <laughs> so that she can go <laughs> be in a better place. There's someone on here whose name is Can't Hide. They that can't hide. Very true. You can't hide from Crystal. She knows just from looking at your head what you've been doing. Alright, so let's say something. So we're just gonna even her out where we can even her out. This is how my hair looked like when I would still press it when it was natural. That's so interesting. Alright, so let's try not to move. I guess there's still so much texture to it. Yes, like. there should be. Don't move, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm using my clippers just to give her an even line without my unsteady hand. Easiest way to do it. Work smarter, not harder. So earlier, I think what was meant was scarring alopecia, not hard scalp. Oh, she has scarring alopecia. Okay. And what was her question again? I don't remember. Um, what can she do? When your hair is scarred, there's really nothing you can do to that area. Scarring is not reversible. That means that it's gone too far and it, it's, it's just gotten too far. There's nothing you can do about scarring. Now, you can aid the hair around it, but... Scarred alopecia, basically, just like the scar on your skin, you'll notice that no hair will grow through it because that skin is overhealed. Bless you. Oh, thank you. Oh, bless you. I didn't even hear that. That was so small and cute. All right. So this is what the hair should look like when it is relaxed properly. All right. So we're going to go ahead and curl her. And I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to curl her in a couple minutes. We have a hater in the comments. What was the hater? Arian, Arian Dixon said shave her head. Oh, no. <laughs> that wasn't nice. Oh, oh, but you know what? Maybe it was to the alopecia. Maybe that was what oh, they were talking about. Oh. I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, chin down for me. So we are going to 
curl her and pin her all at the same time. Give her some nice, um, healthy looking curls. I'm gonna use the Vivace, okay? This is the Vivace or red plate, one and three fourths of an inch in large sections. It is at 450, but you'll see how you temper that out in regards to when you're doing the hair. I'm doing large sections. Pac-93 said, if there was a go-to hairstyle that doesn't cause that much breakage, what would it be? Wear your own hair. Wear your own hair. Every hairstyle you do can cause breakage. So the only thing that won't cause breakage is wearing your own hair. And then I had asked you earlier mm -hmm. if I'm okay to do micro lengths. Is, is that still? Yeah, you can do it. Okay. Yeah. You just have to let me know way ahead of time because I have to order that hair. Gotcha. It's best to do it like in between the relaxers. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you can make it through to the next relaxer and then at that point it's time to take it out anyway. Mm -hmm. Some people, it seems like some people with micro links just continue to retighten them indefinitely. Do you not suggest that? Um, eventually you're gonna have breakage mm. because that hair needs to be relaxed at some point. Some people try to use that as a way to transition. I see. So you guys see what I'm doing? I'm using the red plate, which is the Vivace. Maintaining tension all the way through. It's a wider plate, so I can cover a lot more ground. And then I'm just pinning it while it's still warm in large sections. So are you familiar with that method where they use finishing spray and it makes the hair like almost hard and then they brush it out and it's super silky? Yeah, it's each is on. That's not, um, not really a technique. It's the product that they're using. And everybody does it. Like you can even do that with setting lotion. Mm. With roller sets and setting lotion. Or, you know, it depends on the hairspray. It's, it's a number of things. Whatever hairspray they use for that though, it's really good. So that hairspray is giving her an amazing hold, but still light enough that it can comb straight through it. Mm. I saw that on TikTok, actually. That's a stylist that I saw doing it. And I was like, ooh, that's pretty. I just want to know what hairspray she used. Yeah. Marilyn said, my hair is natural. What do you recommend I use to do twists on my hair? Twists like weave twists or twists like your hair? I think her hair. Like a twist out, um, the Elite Silk Wrap Foam. And that's really all you need. And then I'm spraying a little bit of goddess polish on my hair too, you guys, just so you know. Is the goddess polish the, uh, the shine treatment? No, so the goddess polish is a shine mist. And then we have the shine booster conditioning um treatment that's a conditioning treatment that has to be rinsed out so we have two different things okay did we do that today no no we didn't is the affirm fiber guard relaxer better than the regular affirm relaxer i don't talk i don't talk relaxer talks my love That's something that we have talks with um, cosmetologists. I don't. I don't really talk relaxer. I'm sorry.
country girl country life said i can't wait to receive my products i purchased yesterday excited to take them to my beautician thank you for your purchase please be patient with us though country girl please thank you i appreciate everybody that purchased yesterday because you guys are awesome You guys see that? Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Just want you to know. You're my favorite girl. <laughs> Something about you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so for her hairline, all I'm doing is just combing it down because it's she has some breakage on the hairline. So I'm not gonna mess with that area. We're just gonna make it lay nice and flat. Carolyn said I have an elite store in my home. I believe you, Carolyn. <laughs> Can't Hide said beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Can't Hide. Thank you, Cam. Senior Caldwell said, I ordered products yesterday and just received an update. They were shipped out today. I'm so excited. Thank well, you so much. Well, that was fast. <laughs> yeah. Listen, Kat and them is not playing. That was very fast. Miss A. Ad said, we appreciate you, Crystal. I appreciate you guys. And thank you guys so much for believing in my products and myself. Oh, thanks. You can't hide. She called us pretty. Oh, thank you guys. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just kind of combining this one piece here in the front. We had two more people say that they have a, an elite store, elite hair care store at home. <laughs> <laughs> Mary King. Bet. Yes, Mary King, definitely. <laughs> can't hide also. Can't hide, yes. There was someone earlier who said they have enough to have a store in Barbados, so you're worldwide. Thank you, guys. see that all right so we're gonna do these last two pieces here and then we're gonna comb her down and that's it Robin she said it's called alopecia areata okay well if it's scarred it's still the same thing scarring no matter which type of alopecia you have is non-reversible the parts that aren't scarred, you can definitely aid, but is there a 100% affix to alopecia? No. It's kind of like a gamble. It's, it's all with luck. But I definitely say make sure you're taking care of the hair around it. Carolyn Shepard said, my grandson used your product on his locks. Yay, thank you. Margie Morales and Beth said they're, they're sharing your products with so many people. Thank you guys. Please share our products. That's how people learn about my stuff. All right, so I'm spraying her with some goddess polish, letting her hair cool down for a second, which really is these parts in the front, this part on the side, and then we'll comb her down and then she's all done. So in the meantime, I can take these parts down Portia said, I haven't had a relaxing.
four months and I want to get knotless braids. Am I risking the potential of hair breakage? I mean, you're going to shed a little bit more than normal, but I don't see why not. She's so crystal that her customer from Port St. Lucia says, Hi, and my hair is still looking great from Saturday. That's hey, Diane beautiful. Wilson. I know it's Diane. <laughs> Deneen says she has a store also. Love the products and the education and tips. Thank you, Deneen. Ooh, it's so shiny. Oh, my God. Grasshopper said, we purchased Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and some of us are still at it. I know that's right. How much time after relaxing can you get braids? Mm, I'd say midway between the next relaxer, like four weeks. All right, so we're going to go ahead and comb her out. And then how long should I wait before I want to get microlinks or something of that Same form? thing, three to four weeks. I mean, you don't have a lot of time. So like two to four weeks, somewhere in between the two, because those microlinks are only about four weeks to, at a time anyway. So mm. it'll bring you into your next song. Um, gonna kind of relax some of the curl listen that that's the base that's why i call it the cadillac honey. that thing gave her curls like a a roller set Getting lots of compliments on your work. Thank you. Oh my gosh, that's like a different head of hair. Oh my goodness. How's that? I love it. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Working magic. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Wow. I just love how much texture it has. Oh my gosh. I didn't know if it could be done. You know? I wasn't a hundred percent sure if it could be done. <laughs> it looks like we were past the point of um redemption. Where you, you know? located? I'm in a pop of Florida. Come on. You don't you don't card a card.
And then is it okay if we use the, uh, the credit from the second deposit since that was... Oh yeah, let me see what, what you was talking about there now. Okay, so you said you booked the second one. Which one? I booked the first one on May 12th, I believe. This one? Oh, May 13th. Um, That's this one? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then you fill that out for me and put your email or phone number for a receipt. last client you guys have been on live with me an hour actually two hours but i've done what three clients in two hours so two relaxers and a curl so you're going back today i am yeah what time is it right it's um at six. Oh, well you got tons of time yeah go ahead and go get you something to eat and head on out Thank you so much, Crystal. All right, my dear. I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you like May, June? Yes. All right, let me know about the microlink so I can get that part sorted out. Okay, perfect. Okay? Thank you. Okay, babe. All right. Bye. 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 All right. So we're going to put a little bit of Fritz Tamer on her hair. <laughs> From where we started, this hair has grown. It's doing great. Oh yeah, hair's doing great. You've been consistent. That is good. Yes. All right. So we're actually going to curl her first, and then I'll just clean her up slightly. She doesn't really need a huge trim. It's just a clean up. Um, I'm going to use the Vivace to curl her. Wait, am I leaving? What are you leaving to? Keep collecting all your blessings. Thank you. Which iron is good for straightening natural hair? Um, you can use the titanium micro, which is the one inch, or you can use the anniversary iron. That one is a little more cost effective. It is a titanium one inch iron, which is a nano titanium. You can use that one as well. Titanium is really the best thing for silk pressing or straightening natural hair. I wouldn't really recommend any other iron for straightening. 
Now for everyday styling, like what I'm doing right now, I'd say use the ceramic. So you're not gonna use the same iron for everything. And that's another thing that I'm, I'm trying to teach you guys too. Every tool is not for everything. You have different tools for different things. And please stop buying those $9.99 irons at the beauty supply, okay? If they're $9.99 at the beauty supply, more than likely the beauty supply paid like $2 for that iron. So imagine how cheap that iron is. And your iron should have a temperature setting on it for you to be able to adjust the temperature. You flat on your hair? Every once in a blue. I really try to avoid as much as possible. So like when you wash it, that's the one time you'll flat iron it? And then after two there. weeks. Like when I first wash it after this, like I'll just wrap it. Okay, so you just do like a dry wrap. Mm-hmm. That's good. Kind of like a roller set. Yeah. Without doing a roller set. You're welcome. Yes, it is coming out very silky, and I have done much of nothing. Was up under here somewhere? Oh no, I do remember. <laughs> I get so many compliments on my wow. hair. I'm like, yes, it has grown. It's healthy. That bob was so tucked up under your neck. <laughs> it was barely there. I, like, I don't think this is gonna grow no more. So this hair has grown. That's awesome. I'm proud of you. That means you've been doing your part at home because that's the most important part. I know y'all are typing and I'm not even seeing y'all typing. All this knowledge you share, bless and thank you. Thank you guys for watching. Y'all sit on here with me. <laughs> it's 240 people on the live, so I need everybody to close your chat. If you haven't already, thumbs up the live. Please thumbs up the live. Very important. So the Vivace iron was added to the site today. Actually, this morning, um, I don't know if it's still in stock or not, but it was added to the site this morning. A lot of people get intimidated by large iron, like large plate irons like this, when these are actually the easiest iron to use. Because it allows you to straighten that hair out without having those fish hooks that you get when you're using smaller plate irons. That's the difference with smaller plate irons versus larger plate. You don't get as many fish hooks with larger plate irons because it's covering more ground a lot quicker. Invest in a good flat iron. Yes, you do. Yes, you do, honey. I agree. It's vital. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and trim her. I'm not going to use my cutting comb. In this instance, I'm going to use my wide tooth comb. Put it down for me. All we're doing is a trim. That's it. Nothing more.
get the body, please? <laughs> She don't even have a bob anymore. <laughs> I don't even know what to call this haircut now. That was not even a bob no more. That was just, just, just hair. It's just there. She got a little bit of asymmetry. A very small amount going on. It's honey. I said it looks beautiful. Your hair is so pretty. Thank you. Thank you to Crystal. All right, girl. I love it. Now for this road trip. Ugh. Where you going? New York. Oh, I don't like you. It's okay. <laughs> well, it's a 16 hour drive. Oh, so you're driving? With two mm -hmm. kids. You on your own with that, honey. We ain't driving nowhere. It's not that bad. My father used to take us on road trips. Uh, 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 no, my kids and I, we are driving nowhere. <laughs> well, for a, what, $2,000 plane ticket, I'll drive. Well, yes, you're going to drive them. Oh, we're gonna, I want to take a train. I've never actually been on a train. Really? No, I want to take a train. So it's bad. Nice. My sister wants to take a train. Too. I do. I do too. I was I like, our next trip. I was like, we could do that. I'm a Harry Potter head. I just want it to look like oh the train God. to Hogwarts. <laughs> 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 I want it to look like we're going to Hogwarts, okay? That needs to be. <laughs> I just need to experience it. Where's my phone? Okay. No car. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, my last client for the day. I am done. Yes, ma'am. Be safe on your All right, trip. All right, thank you. All right, you guys. Really? I'm going to take the train one day. All right, so I'm going to clean up. If you guys want to stay on live with me, you can. Clean up my area, get my towels. Thank you. Let me see if I have any questions. Are trims always 90 degree angles? Basically, yeah. Because a trim is actually not supposed to be a style for the hair. A trim is supposed to be cleaning or a light dusting of the ends. That is a trim. Let me clean up my little shampoo area here. Here, I'll bring y'all around this way so y'all can be kind of like in the same place that I am. Um, there we go. I don't have any combs in my drawer. You guys see up here excluding my relaxer shampoo and conditioner is my product everything
I love your work. Keep going. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Can't hide. Crystal enjoyed. I'll give you anything for you to do right here. Really pack. Just sleep in the floor so that I can go to the car wash, wash my car, get my kids. My car is dirty. Like real bad. My car is dirty.
All right, guys, hold on. Let me grab my towels real quick. Okay. Will you be able to recommend one of your products that would thicken my hair? Are you able to give me some advice on how to thicken my hair? Depends on why it's thin. To all the pros, have a blessed day. Thank you, Teresa. <clears throat> and thank you so much for getting the grilled serum on so I could buy you in the bubble. You're welcome, Christine. You're very welcome. Starving. Actually, no, I'm not really starving, but definitely hungry. So I have a video that's going up tonight. I'm trying to like put out a lot of videos because I hold the videos in my phone and then I'll get in my depression mode or whatever, like how life be. You know, life is not perfect. As perfect as these little people on the internet try to make life seem, it ain't perfect. So I'll have my times where I don't even feel like editing videos and then I'll just kind of hold them in my phone. Wait till on. Hey. This one. Okay. Wait, I'm wondering if that car will let you do it. Mm, try it. Um, because they've been doing shipping and that card you can't go past five on, on a normal day. Okay, so do two. The four four three three. I should do 15 on 4433 and then do the rest on the other card that I sent you yesterday. Yes. I can't believe I'm already at that number. <laughs> um, I mean, I might as well. <laughs> Does that make a difference right now? Well, yeah, just put it as the distributor because I think I'll be at that number on a month. Yeah, so... Okay.
Perfect. Um, hold on, hold on one second. Hold on one second, let me look, hold on. So do 29 on the black one that I sent you and then do, yeah, and then do the rest on the other one. What's that, four? Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. All right, you guys. Boom. What time is it? Oh, man, I got a meeting with Kat in 30 minutes. I think I'll stop shopping now until the next sale. Yes, please. <laughs> That's so funny. I love all your products. The bundle kits will restock today. All right, you guys, so I am going to head out. Get my day finished up. Let me take myself to the car wash. Turn this off. This is for my house. Are you the for you are the first dive I've heard since the one that taught me thirty four years ago to condition condition before neutralizing shampoo. I'm impressed. Um, that's the the line that I use. I I can't. It makes more sense to condition before neutralizing because here's the thing, and I'll I'll tell you why I agree with that uh, with that that instruction on the relaxer. We know that when you normalize or neutralize the hair. It, the, the main purpose of it is to restore the pH and close the cuticle, right? So if it's restored, we now have to use heat to open the cuticle again to condition the hair. Whereas if you condition, even though the hair is not normalized, right? The cuticle is still wide open and it is going to now absorb all of that conditioning treatment. And the conditioner is only going to be on the hair for a minute to five minutes. So we're not, these years I've been using that relaxer system and have been doing it that way because it makes more sense. Now, of course, the manufacturer might say different. Other stylists might say different because we were taught to normalize or neutralize first to restore the pH in the hair. 
And then once we restore the pH in the hair, you're gonna put the conditioner on and put them under the dryer and open the cuticle again to then have to close the cuticle. When we can condition while the, the cuticle is wide open. So. My car is dirty.